welcome back guys so i hope all of you will be fine this is section 6.1 and previously we were discussing the concept or the conceptual questions related to the half and full address so today this is question number three uh, in the exercise and we have to determine the outputs of a full adder okay for each of the following inputs so here we have different input combinations in the form of the part a b c d and we have to determine the output so here in this uh, figure you can very clearly see that at the input of a full adder we have three inputs which are the first input second input or the input bits and the input carry which is basically a carry bit from the previous adder and on the basis of it it gave us some and the output carry okay so we have here different combinations at the input of it on the basis of which we have to find out the outputs which are sum and output carry okay so i have also shown it to you on the basis of another uh, vertical diagram here we had three inputs and two outputs where this is a carry and this is a sum okay uh, this is what this is a b and input carry so on the basis of it we have to find the output okay so the first combination we have here is so let me start part a okay so in part a we have a equal to one okay a is one b is zero or let me write it like a is equal to 1 b is 0 sorry and input carry is also 0 and we have to determine the output so what do we have to do at each of the output here we have to add them together what it would be so a plus b plus c in and this will be a binary addition so putting values here what i will get i will get here 1 plus 0 plus 0 and it will give me 1 okay, which is basically the decimal number and if you want to convert it into a binary one what I will get here I will get here 0 1 what I get here would be the left most bit here will be what this will be the carry bit while the right most bit here would be what it would be let me choose this color for it it will be the summation okay so on the basis of it what we have got we have got for one zero zero we have got zero one so this is the conceptual overview and uh, getting here let me write here one zero one what i will get here i will get here one which is basically zero one so for it the sum is one while the carry is so this is for part a for part b we have for part b let me use this color part b we have a equal to what a equal zero b equal to zero c in equal to one okay so let me directly uh, add them together by using a formula which i have mentioned here so when I will add them together, I will get 0 for A, 0 for B and C input is 1. So I will again get here 1 which is basically I have to represent it in the form of a 2 bit number. So therefore it would be 0, 1. So for it as well, the summation is all again 1 and the carry is 0. Okay, So this is the answer of my part b similarly for part c let me solve part c here okay so what is part c we can see that a is equal to 0 b equal to 1 c input equal to 1 uh, writing these values here again in this formula what i will get i will get a is 0 plus b is 1 and plus input is 1 so here this is in by uh, in decimal it is 2 okay so the binary equivalent of 2 is 1 0 you can very easily see that this is 0 because these are the binary bits and 1 plus 1 in binary is basically 1 0 so what it would be the summation here would be what this will be here because this is the right mode base right 
utmost bit and this is here is summation so here it would be zero while the carry bit here will be okay so this is what this is the solution of part c now let me solve uh, part d here this is part d and for part d let me write it here okay uh, for part d let me write again i have a equal to one b equal to one c equal to equal to 1 all the threes are 1 I putting all the values in this formula and let me call it formula a and what I will get I will get here 1 plus 1 plus 1 and in decimal it is basically 3 3 okay so uh, it is basically equal to 3 and uh, we can very easily see that at this is a binary addition so 3 in binary is basically 1 1 okay so we can very easily see here that summation here will be 1 and output carry is also equal to. So uh, this is the solution for question number 3 here in which we have seen different combinations uh, to the input of a full adder and uh, how can we find out uh, the carry and summation bit out of these uh, combinations which are given. So I hope the concepts are now clear. Uh, I will see you with some more interesting questions in our upcoming video. So you can here see that this was the part A here. Okay. okay. This was part B. This was part C. And part D was due to the base constraints I have solved here. Okay. So thank you so much and I will see you in our upcoming video.